Welcome to this video on tagging in Dartfish. I wanted to introduce the concept of tagging for video and tagging for data. Within tagging for video, we will look at technical detail and tactical detail within individual and team sports. This usually takes the form of, of subjective opinion. For example, observations, adjustments and corrections to show areas that have been done well and areas for development for individuals, units and teams. On the other side, we have tagging for data. This is the objective side whereby you define events and actions and count the number of times these actions occur during a match and a sporting event. Here you can see my tagging panel. It's important to reverse engineer your tagging panel. In most cases, your tagging panel is led by the coach. A discussion about what is possible and deemed necessary to aid the coaching process. This over time will lead to the evolution of a tagging panel or a set of tagging panels that will assist you and the coach to provide meaningful video and data. In this example of a tagging panel, I want to collect video and data evidence of how Inter Milan defend. For collecting data evidence, I've tagged the opposition's final third entries and penalty box entries, as well as shots on target, off target, blocked, and the shot on target outcomes. These all have clearly defined definitions and over the course of a game and a run of games will give some trend data to analyze. During this tagging process, I'm also collecting video evidence that can be used to describe what Inter Milan are doing defensively and how they did it. By adding to the layer of data that we added just now, we click on the event button, opposition open play to signal that the opposition are in possession of the football. They have reached the final third. We can add an XY coordinate of where the first entry point was. We can describe how they got into the final third, whether it's successful or unsuccessful. And then we can also add some defensive actions. This is where the keyword buttons are used to describe how we are defending during this defensive action or the opposition's open play. We can describe whether they are pressing in a mid-block, low block, defending the box or recovery runs. All we need to do is determine what of these is most applicable to that period and that moment in time. We can also add who it relates to, whether it be the team, the front strikers, the midfield or the back five defensively. By adding these layers of keywords, it will allow me after the game to search for key information that I may wish to explore further and create and present some montages that can be used to feed back how we defend. Show an example in action. So Barcelona in, are in possession of the ball. They are building. And they're playing through, so successful. So the defensive actions at that time, if we go back, let's have a look at the shape, is a pressing one. So the defense, defensive action is a pressing. And in this scenario is the wing backs releasing off. So we could say back five or we could say a team press. For the purpose of this example, I'm just going to say it is a team press and it's unsuccessful. Barcelona are still playing. And this would be an opposition open play build. And at this point, it's a final third entry. They've done this by building possession successfully. Play it on a little bit more to see our defensive actions. This could fall into one or two different situations. And it's important at this point to understand your own definitions for your technical and tactical play. For this, this will be recovery runs back into shape as Barcelona have split us defensively. This is a team related keyword and it's a successful regain. Every time it triggers this back to the game tagging panel, at which point we can now start to actually tag our own open play. 